Welcome to draft time. Oh, here it is. Here's the build around that we all want to see. We're going to take this living death and uh, we're going to take all the cyclers we can get. We're just going to be like, cycle this dude, cycle this dude, cycle this dude. And then we're basically just going to be playing uh, living end in modern. So I meant living death. I said living end, I think. Either way, I hope there's also a murder in that pack. That's pretty. We're going to be a uh, five color living end, apparently. God, we're passing two murders for this. We're taking this Laquatus as champion, right? The chat isn't on the screen. That is weird. Why is that? Hold on. That is disheartening. Yeah, we're definitely taking Laquatus as champion. I, I like the other murder, but... God, two murders? It's murder! Why isn't the chat on the screen? That is disheartening. Cascade Blups. Horror of the Broken Lands is probably where we want to be. I don't think Cascade Bluffs is worth anything. It is worth nothing. 50 cents. Yeah, we're just going to take this guy. I don't know what's wrong with the chat, guys. I apologize. Yeah. No chat on screen for this one, I guess. That's awkward. I'm uncomfortable with it. Blood Keeper Bat? Blood Hunter Bat. It doesn't keep the blood. It just hunts it. And then I guess it disposes of it in some way. I'm going to take Blood Hunter Bat here. That's a good, that's a good gentleman. Oh boy! Wow, these these picks are have been fantastic. Yeah, well, I guess we're green, huh? Uh, I mean mozzarella sticks. Uh, you know, mozzarella cheese fried and then put in a. That's you know you know you know how you know how it goes. You know the you know the mozzarella stick life. Also, Frexy and Ghoul is great because we can sacrifice whatever guys we have on board. I think it's probably Ghoul over Templar. I think this guy's fine. Because we can actually just throw this guy away and get a 6-7 back. Deal. Oh, same reason I this guy's fine. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. That's so weird. If one of you guys wants to subscribe or donate, I know this sounds this so weird to say this. Um, so the chat, the client, the chat widget is uh, run by Streamlabs, and so is the donation slash uh, subscribe announcement. So I'm wondering if that would come up if someone did those things. Yeah, Living Death is pretty bonkers, right? 
This living death art is so good too. You got like the Taskmaster here for all those Marvel fans. Cunning ploy. It was, I, I, it's weird to ask, but it's the same, it's the same thing that like it triggers both. So it's hard to test it and figure out what's wrong. If it's on, if it's on my end or if it's on Streamlabs end, because, well, because there's no way to do that really. Oh, it just came back up. <laughs> Team Xbox, thank you so much, man. Apparently, well, actually, I wonder if that subscription triggered the chat, though, because now it's back. So that's really weird. I literally wonder if you subscribed, it triggered it, and then uh, now it's back. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, another, another this guy, huh? All right. So I'm nine subs away from my maximum number of subs that I've ever had. I guess we can take the Kavu Climber at this point. God, to care this little about a Cascade Bluffs is just unreal to me. Deck is building itself apparently. Even if we don't play the the living end, like, or I mean, we're obviously gonna play the living end, but even if we don't get to like physically cast the living end, our deck is still just super value, right? Sure, even that's fine. Even that's playable. Especially when we got doubles, doubles, doubles. Foil Acroma, Angel of Fury. I bet that's worth actual nothing. I think that'd be worth a lot more if this set was redeemable, but as it is, I doubt that's worth anything. I just typed that in somewhere and I don't know where it went. It is worth 81 cents. Seville Pippin, thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Soul Timer. I kind of like Street Wraith here. I also like Epic Confrontation, though. Yeah, I'm going to take... Uh... Actually, what if we play this as a morph? And then we Living Death it. That almost seems better to me. Or we can try to find a Zombify as well. I'm going to take this Acroma because that seems cooler to me. I'm going to take Bloodhunter Bat, number dose. There ain't no cards for us here. Come on, Zombify. Hey, Vessel of Nascency. The sad thing is if we hit our living death off of Vessel of Nascency. Jay Lesoski, thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. We could definitely borrow a lot of arrows. There are a lot of arrows to be borrowed here. Um, I think it's just Vessel. I don't think we're going to play it. It could also be Primal Clay. I'm not thrilled about Primal Clay, though. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much, man. Do we just play the double Acroma deck <laughs> with no way to get this one into the graveyard? Is there a way to discard cards? Is there like a discard outlet in this format? I really want to play the double Acroma deck, like, like a lot. How can we discard? What's our discard outlet? Undead Gladiator. I like the idea of this better than than Ambassador Oak. Like, I'm just going to take this. Because this is gas, dude. 
This is pure gasoline. Supernatural stamina is pretty good. <gasps> Supernatural stamina on a Chroma Angel of Fury. Oh, bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, we get the Ambassador Oak anyway. Probably, I want to say horror, but I actually like our Anox Survivalist a lot. Plus, it's a two drop if we really need a two drop. Another Kavu Climber? That doesn't seem good. What about Regrowth? Actually, Regrowth makes our Vessel of Nascency a little better because we can just Regrowth something. Vessel does put the Acroma into the graveyard. You're not wrong. Man, this is a weird deck. Another Kavu Climber? I don't need three Kavu Climbers. I'll take a Dark Ritual in case I'm like really desperate, I guess. I don't I can't imagine I'm taking a triple cob another Kavu climber. <sighs> Taking this guy. None of these are very good here. Hey, another another ambassador oak. How many four drops do we want though? None of these are great. Just take lull, I guess. I don't know. Stamina is really good. You're not wrong. Living Wish, huh? Well, that's not a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Where are the Arbor Elves in this, in this format? You may choose a creature or a land you own from outside the game. Yeah, I'm just going to take Epic Confrontation here. I like it better than Invigorate. We also don't have much removal because we passed double uh, murder for... Oh, Courser of Crufix. That's exciting. Definitely taking Courser of Crufix here. Only other thing I'd care about is the other epic confrontation, but. What up, Grumpy Stump? Well, we can get a Chroma and a Chroma's Vengeance. What's the dude got to do to get one Arbor Elf up in here? Is Arbor Elf uncommon in this format? That's weird. There's no way, right? No, it's totally common. What the hell? I don't want any of these cards, though. What do I do? Just take Dark Ritual? I'll take a Chroma's Vengeance. Whatever. It cycles. <laughs> I mean, it's just 23 cards. I'll play these 23 if I have to. If I can just get... Um, Another epic confrontation is good. I mean, we don't have any, like, one or two drops, which is really worrying me a little bit here. We passed two Arbor Elves. I bet we took better cards, though. Our deck is great. What are you talking about?
This is our this is essentially our curve. We just take Doomsday? <laughs> no, we don't. We don't. Because you exile the cards from your graveyard, so Living Death is just terrible at that point. I'll just take Plummet for the old sideboard EO. My god. These picks are just so bad. Like, we're just getting more of the same. I don't need a third Willy Loxon on. I don't need a third Kabu Climber. I guess it's just Urg Raiders? I don't like it. I almost don't mind return Phalanx in this deck just because it's a it's great with Epic Confrontation, it's a two drop. This guy seems good. I don't want that many vessels because we could actually just hit the living death and then we're just actually getting like one card over the other two. We also did not get Undead Gladiator, so I think the only way to get this in the graveyard is just hitting it with Vessel of Nascency. I mean, being able to hit any one of these three with a Supernatural Stamina seems pretty good. I guess it's just Ambassador Oak number two. Pernicious dude, have a good afternoon, evening, or good night. We do have to cut like two things. Wow, another vessel. Last pick vessel. All right. Probably cut one ghoul. Probably cut one Willy Locks it on. Little Willy, what's going on? Glad you could finally uh, get your get your Twitch thing going. Get your little Twitch times. I do like I do like echoing courage on both the chromas for full value. I don't they don't have the same name though, unfortunately. It's Angel of Wrath and Angel of Fury. Double vessel makes me makes me want to put this acroma back in here though. The odds of hitting that is pretty good. But once it's in your hand, you're you're basically done for. This guy seems bad. I think our deck's good like this. I think this is fine. Two mountains. <laughs> Even though she costs three red. I guess they're thinking like, well, even the morph cost is three red. So I don't know what they're thinking with two mountains here, man.
yes. Keep. Uh, we're not flipping it. Well, we have supernatural stamina, so if she dies, she comes back. Oh, we also have living death. So, or we can just play her as a 2 2. And a lot of times we are going to just play her as a 2 2, so that we're, we're going to always play her as a 2 2. Just watching your content earlier, I want to ask. <laughs> That's awesome. I want to ask if you're streaming. <laughs> it's so awkward. I'm always like, it's so awkward when people ask me that because I don't want to lie to you and be like, no, of course not. Because then you're just going to go check, and then I am, and I'm just a stupid liar. Um,. Or if I am streaming, I'm just like, I am streaming right now, and then I'm just kind of inviting you to come watch. Remember that time we drew more green sources so that we can actually vessel here? Me neither. I will not be attacking. I will block this guy though. And then play a little bat. Oh my gosh. And they took a damage? They're basically dead. actually tempted to just take five here because next turn we can epic confrontation and supernatural stamina kill this guy attack for three and they might be missing a land drop we also don't have lands coming up so oof god i'm so tired of these goblins man Oh, <laughs> well, now we're just going to block. Oh, my goodness. What a glorious day. Do we die to, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got a four if they have trumpet blast. They always have it. Oh boy, what a glorious day. I'll take a forest here. I don't even think we can attack here. It's seven points, but like, actually, no, they're, they're, no, they're playing red. <laughs> we have no way to attack here. We might actually be dead. They just attack with both. They put us a three and they lightning bolt us. Or they double kindle us. Oh God, this is just terrifying. Really? So I go to one? My God. This doesn't gain me life, right? Oh, boy. I think we're dead. Oh, boy. Wow! If we just didn't attack, we'd actually win. Like we, well, not win, but we could block, block. 
Wow. Does that do anything for us, though? I don't think so. Like, they'd still be at 17. Is it, I mean, is it a risky attack, though? How many how many creatures have haste in this format? Like, one? It literally has to be ball lightning? Or the red deck has to deal five to our, to our Baloth Null? Let's look it up. Rules text, haste. Red in Masters 25. Is it Chemister, which I didn't even know was in this set, which is really weird. I haven't seen this card once. Oh, it's rare, I guess. Uh, can Has haste. He's a 1-3. Uh, Enthralling Victor had no targets to steal. Crimson Mage. So it's basically Crim Crimson Mage or Ball Lightning. Those are the only two cards that they, they could have had. They could have had Active Treason, but like even if we don't attack, they can Active Treason or Chroma and kill us. So like attacking there seems totally fine. Now we're definitely bringing in Return Phalanx. Lull seems phenomenal. I'm going to take out a Vessel. We'll take out a... That should be fine. Yeah, like we have to actually because it puts us on a two. It puts them on a two-turn clock. Like we attack them for six, then we put them to five on the next turn if we survive, and then we just play Laquatus as champion. So like we actually have to win. This hand is also terrible. Okay. Come on, go to five with me. Don't let it end like this. No, you couldn't do it. Let's put you on top. <sighs> Just gonna cycle this immediately so we can have six. All right, well, no one drop is a good sign. Ball lightning, wow. What a thing, what a thing, what a thing. Unfortunate. Actually, if we get another green, we can play Courser and keep up uh, Supernatural Stamina forever, which is pretty good. That's a good block. Hey, look, there's a Crimson Mage here. Good to know. All right. Corsair feels good if we get another forest, but until then, kind of, kind of meh. Yep. I like this guy with supernatural stamina. That's a that's a that's a way to be. Oh my god, here we go. How many times are we dying to this? Come on. We just can't beat this. You can't have another one. Oh, uh, that is that all? Okay. Oh, are you just kidding? You're just getting in. Oh, that's what? Wait, how? 
Oh, Simeon Spirit Guide. Okay. I was like, how did you do that? Well, this is a good match. <laughs> really? Six, six mana guy, double green guy, double green guy, stamina. So I guess we take nine here. These are a lot of spicy cheese sticks. You are not wrong, my friend. Here we go. Death becomes us. In for 27. Like you do. All right. Good times. Oh, boy. Well. Pretty, 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 pretty good. It was a good start. Good start to our Living Death Chroma deck. I mean, we got to flip a Chroma. That was cool. Ten man, I have not found any Jaces yet. Unfortunately. Here we go. Here we go. He might have had Pyroclasm. That's a good point. We could have just waited for him to draw Pyroclasm. More like blur graders. I wonder if we just block and then try to throw everything else out. Are you just gonna kindle this guy? Oh. Oh no. Actually, this is fine. You're gonna take epic confrontation, so whatever. I like ur graders because we can actually just play like bat. We can play this guy. And then we can just have them like run their Ur Graders into all of our guys. Well, that's... That's interesting. Oof. Brutal. Utterly brutal. Any land off the top, preferably a swamp, would be good. They only have... They've missed two land drops, so... Oh, now they didn't. Take three. Now we might just kill somebody. Give me my card back. You're just gonna kill my guy? Oh, you're gonna swamp cycle. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Look at all these blur graders. Can we just play ambassador and just start eating their ur graders? I think we just want to play bat here and then we can just go block block hope we hit a land look at us preparing for that living death Oh boy. 
Look what we did. I'm pretty sure we're just living death here. And hope they also don't have living death, I guess. Yeah, the opponent might be onto us because they actually saw us play. Uh, they actually mesmeric fiended our hand earlier, so they know what's going on. Here comes their living death, and they just get back these three, and we get back nothing. No blocks. I figured that was a morph. I figured you were a morph. I'll leave this guy behind. Attack with the big bigs. We did grab a Nihil Spellbomb, but Nihil Spellbomb exiles both graveyards. Kindle my bat. Dirt, 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 dirt. You got five. Doesn't Nihil Spellbomb doesn't? It just exiles one graveyard. Target player. That's pretty good. This is good to know. Oh, it's an Iron Shaman. Hordling Outburst is what you exiled. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. See if we can hit like a supernatural stamina. A swamp. That's actually very good. It's not good at all. deal they have four cards we have one it's disheartening this guy's just eating all my things Ghoul seems good. Too ghoul for school over here. <laughs> That's a card. They just go block, block. I guess there's actually no point attacking with the Oak here. They just go block with this guy, block with this guy, eat this guy. So we're actually just throwing away Ambassador Oak at that point. Let's get back Horror and Blood Hunter.
I definitely think Hordling Outburst is pretty good. No attacks. So we have four, eight mana. Four, eight mana. I guess we just hold back here. I don't really see a benefit to attacking. Like we attack with this guy, they just block. If they're not coming at us, we don't have to come at them. If they try to kill the bat, we might actually uh, cycle the horde to try to hit supernatural stamina number two. Hmm, it's annoying. Yep. All right. Well, it is what it is. <sighs> That's annoying. Unfortunately, we have no creatures with blocky blocky. You're gonna sacrifice this, you got four blockers. Yeah, I'll go to seven here. All of my guys are lethal. I guess we're alphaing here. They have to block things, so. Like, I feel like this is a Ruthless Ripper, but if they have like Ruthless Ripper murder, like reveal murder, Ruthless Ripper here, murder here, like <laughs> things can go pretty bad. Takes you from Grim, what's going on, buddy? Yep, 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 yep. All right, well, we're going to damage. Or not yet. Eat that guy, sure. That was a skirt commando. That's better than it. I guess you're eating this guy too. All right, so we lose not not too much <laughs> comical comical This is a 6-6. Six, six. He becomes an 8-8 eight, eight at most. This guy becomes a 9. So we'll actually play Zealot. We also could have just left this to be a 2 2. I don't know why we didn't do that. I guess because we feel safe. Yeah, 
I mean, they obviously didn't have a removal spell. Um, and if they wanted to bring this guy to an 8-8, they would have had to... Okay, sure. Why didn't you play it to, like, get rid of another guy so you... I, I don't know, that seems weird. All right, so two Kindles at the very least. It's a lot of lands. Just gonna play everything like they know our hand. Feel free to block here, take four. Oh, okay, we just win. We do have a spell bomb. Probably just bring in spell bomb for nothing. Uh, I don't think this is a deck we care about return phalanx. That was actually a pretty grindy game. What's the Acroma plan? The Acroma plan is Living Death and Double Supernatural Stamina. Well, turn one vessel. We got half of it, right? I will keep. We're halfway there. We can also wait to Vessel until we hit Living End. <gasps> well, that's pretty good. Living on a prayer. Oof. That's a big boy. I almost don't want to block with Corsair just because they have Kindles. They have two Kindles, so. Yeah, we'll wait to keep up Supernatural Stamina. I can take two more damage here. Efka, welcome back, buddy. What was this last time? Um, I don't actually know. Uh, Anox Survivalist. We'll just take Horror of the, the Broken Lands. Could have played land from the top, but we wanted to minimize the number of cards that actually went to the graveyard from that, so I'm just going to pass here. Oh, Irish Shaman, sure. A Swamp. Are you, are you playing it or casting it? You may play it. Okay, so you get a free Swamp out of that. Cool. Isn't that cute? Me too. <laughs> Me too. I almost want to just cycle this guy now. But we don't have anything to do next turn, so it's that's kind of dumb. Hmm. Land... Play guy. You 
Yeah, we did see a skirmisher too, I guess. Boy, this is aggressive. Got the Kindle? I know you have the Kindle, but it's still a two for one. Yeah, sure. God, Urgraders for days. I feel like our deck is just significantly stronger here. Oh, look what's on the top, boys! Do I actually want that? I don't even think we want that. I think we want to just go Spell Bomb, locks it on face down. I don't know how they win actually if we if we do this if we if we get if we get this going. What do we got? Survivalist, Dusk Legion Zealot, Horror, six seven. That seems good, right? No attacks. <laughs> Deal. Do we just attack with this guy? That seems good, right? Laquatus is champion. Do you guys know whose champion that is? Oh, it's Laquatus' champion. Oh, we just win the game with Living Death and Bailoff Null in hand. Arctic is sweet. We just have to not die, I guess. I actually do think uh, Ghoul is probably better than Ember, Weav em Ember Weaver. I just like to go. I like Ember Weaver because it gave us a way to deal with uh, flyers, like a two three. Plus a two three just blocks a lot of the other two twos and two threes in the format without dying. And also the other reason was we don't have a lot of guys in the front end to be able to throw on board and sacrifice. So uh, the champion still dies because you're sacrificing them. Yes, unfortunately. Uh, this hand is great. I will keep it. Come on, give me my own Dusk Legion Zealot. One time. Okay. I might play this guy first, just so we actually have a... Uh, we can play a land and gain a life. Uh, living in, living death doesn't exile the creatures from the battlefield. They exile the creatures from the graveyard. You're sacrificing the creatures. Sure. Apparently we're in the mirror match. I think we can safely block this, whatever it is. I have a feeling it's a ruthless ripper, so we're gonna take two and trade. Yep, seems good. Mm. 
this could be good. That was a great land on top. I like that we drew this and they don't know about it. Shh. Oh yeah, just keep playing those guys. Tin Man, have a good night, buddy. Dang it. No free lands, huh? It sucks that we have all three threes in hand. <laughs> Maybe I should have attacked the Courser there, and they just double block. <sighs> God, I just really want to stifle some of this damage. We're not doing very good. I hope you disfigure my Courser of Kerfix. So we don't have horror in hand, actually. Oh, you can just cycle that, but you didn't. Ha you don't actually have a black up. That's great. Supernatural stamina would be good. I might want to just wait, but I don't think so. I guess we actually could wait, couldn't we? We can also Kavu Climber. We get back horror ghoul and blood hunter bat, and they get back. Worthless Ripper. Jacefs, thank you so much. Glad you could uh, glad you could join us for the first live stream ever in the history of live streams. That's not true. I made that up. We actually care about blocking here. I'd rather get one less Kavu Climber now. Yeah, that's fine. That's what we were hoping for. I feel like it's I feel like we just do it now, right? <laughs> Anything else would be super greedy. <laughs> do we go back Courser or do we go back Kavu Climber? I think Courser is the better creature. That's pretty good. Get back a Tusker. Okay. A lot of cards in their hand. Oh, wow. Is this just a mirror match? <laughs> Undead Gladiator. Yeah, we're definitely bringing in Nihil Spellbomb.
Yeah, no blocks. Sure. Six, seven, eight. We can play climber, but we can't flip this guy. So I have gladiator in hand. Gladiator and one other card. Guess you're drawing Dreadmaw. Invoker. Invoker is pretty scary next turn. I imagine you're going to play Dreadmaw, which is why you cycled that guy. Pretty good. Oh, <laughs> Bayloth Null, eh? Okay. Once we get Ruthless River off the board, I think we're in good shape here. I really want this Phyrexian Ghoul, though, because we have a lot of things to sacrifice. Plus, they, if they have, like, their own Living End by chance, they can't actually play it when we have Phyrexian Ghoul out because we can just... You know what we can do. They're going to play Invoker and then be able to actually invoke something, too, which is pretty scary. God, Jesus, that's terrifying. Tusker on top. Yep, that is one Wild Heart Invoker. Okay, so they have no cards in hand. That's pretty good for us. Let's give Trample. Oh, God, it does give Trample. That's terrifying, dude. Well, that is scary. So you can attack with these two? Which is not terrible for us. Ooh, no attacks at all. Tusker on top. So we can get Climber and something else back. So Ghoul, this guy. Let's get, let's get hungry. Okay, sounds good. So we have eight mana.
four four six six four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen all right so you're not at double activations yet that would be scary I forgot about the plus five, plus five, actually. That's pretty sad. How did I forget about that? I don't know. Let's get back Ghoul and Ambassador Oak. Did I, did I do that? There we go. So you can activate one time. Actually, if you attack with everyone, it's pretty good. Because then we can we can block the 6-6, six, six, put 11 in front, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 4, 4, and 3. And then we'd, we'd take... Well, you can't actually attack with this guy. It's too it's too bad. It's too bad for you. This guy goes to 11. 6, 7, 8, 9, 14. Okay. And we know you have Tusker in hand. So 11, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, we're just going to put... Do we win if we just take this, though? Do you have three blockers? You can go block, block, block. You take three, four, five, six, seven. No, we don't win. And this is a two for one, which is fine. Because then you can't play Tusker as well. Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Actually it's a it's a two for one, yeah. I mean five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they kill Null and Horror, right? Seems pretty easy. It would have been rude to walk in. Well, not when I'm literally streaming and then you're knocking, so that, that feels more rude because I'm like, what am I supposed to pause the game, get up, leave the room, and... Yeah. Oh. Well, that's clearly less rude, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so you can't play Tusker, which is pretty good. I think they wouldn't it be better to kill the Bailoth Null and the Climber? Did I just miss? Or even the Horror and the Climber? Like, wouldn't this guy be the better one to keep alive? Interesting. Interesting. Stay a while and listen. Oh, God. You smell good, man. Do I? Yeah, you do. Is it my hairspray or is it my beard? I I don't think it's beard oil. That's definitely a. Is it woodsy? Because my beard oil is woodsy. No, it's more aromatic. It's more frag. It's got a like a floral fla fragrance. That's woodsy, isn't it? It's um. That's a type of wood woodsy. I think of wood more. I think I think of woodsy more as wood. That's true. This is eleven. What do you got? You got some star crunches. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Because if you don't want that one, six, seven. So they can't actually pump a second time. Hunter, stop. Sorry, guys. It's my fault. It is. It's always your fault. Everything's your fault. I think we just have it to attack with the bat here. I don't think we actually have any good good attacks here. There you go. It's Rob. Thanks, Bio. <laughs> there you go. There you are. <laughs> God, you're beautiful. I'm majestic. That's majestic. I think we. I think we have this game. 
So your your microphone's not even on, and it's and you're like in the thing. There you go. There you go. Knock yourself out with the mic. Well, with whatever you have to, really. So four, five, seven, and ten. We can actually just play everything. We know what they're. We got Professor Oak over here. Look, we did it. Look how good we're doing. That's like a lot of dudes versus one. Are they just cycling, Tusker? <clears throat> wow, that's interesting. They're trying to hit their living death. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's fine. I'll just sack all my guys to ghoul and I'll just get a million more dudes. Let's do that. I, I feel like I come out ahead. A lot of triggers. Oh, during upkeep, we're going to discard a forest Marvin. to get back a, an undead gladiator, I guess. Marvin? They called me Marvin. Marvin Barbably, but Michael's brother, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Marvin and Michael. You know, they're... Oh, you're getting that guy back. All right, sure. So we know you have forest, undead gladiator, and one other, one other nonsense <clears throat> card, I imagine. I say it's nonsense because... Living Wish. Wow. That's scary. Huh. Okay. Let's see what you got. There's no way you put like a rabbit, like a chupacabra in your sideboard though, right? So like... Would that even well, blow you out? No, not really. So it's like the best creature you can even have in your sideboard. Oh, a Protean Hulk? That's pretty sick. Eh. Does it do anything though? Uh, I mean like... I know what the card does. <laughs> right. That's... Yeah. So like... <laughs> right. What does it do? I don't know. Hmm. So then you play this guy and on the end of Gladiator? Sure. Can Gladiator block? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm confusing it with another card, I guess. Another 3-1. You're confusing it with any any aggressive black 3-1 that usually can't no, block? No, there's a card. There was a played black card that couldn't block. It was a 3-1 that couldn't block and it had some sort of graveyard ability. I can't remember what it was. Uh, was it your dad? It was possible. Okay. I, th I thought it might be. He's not black at all. That's... Take it easy. All right, well, we're gonna we're gonna vessel here. Uh, <laughs> it's cute, super cute. How many stamina? I mean, have it's you a hit? creature. Might as well play it. Oh, I got another vessel up top. What? How many stamina have you hit? The supernatural ones. You mean in general? We got them. they're both in the graveyard. Oh, okay. So they can block three things. What do they block? They block this guy, this guy, and this guy. And they take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you're you're basically dead. Boop, boop, boop. That's a good noise, man. Thanks, dude. You're welcome. I said that myself. So you actually have to block Ghoul. Yep, that's fine. What did Astrid say? Look at it. <laughs> she sent me a picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Wow, she's pretty cutthroat. <laughs> Teach him a lesson. Like, you have to block this one. You know this is a Willy Thoxodon because you literally saw it. <laughs> Robert, what do you believe in? I always get asked the most weird questions whenever I'm here. What do you believe in, Robert? Ramen and, and cheese. No one believes in ramen and cheese. <sighs> Did you see us Anox Survivalist, their guy? Their their Corsair of Crew fix? He's an enchantment. I'm an enchantment. You can do Greg, that. Greg, can you milk me? No. That's good. Mm -mm. That's probably for the best. It is not one man's duty to be milked. I don't know what to... I think we're just okay. I almost like lull because they got that spend eight mana. Regrowth. How do you feel about pineapple on your pizza? I like pineapple on pizza. I actually kind of like regrowth because we can get back the living death. Boom. That's gas. You're we're welcome. doing that. Now, oh, thank you. What's better than one living death? Perma band zombie number. <laughs> 39001. That's good. That's a good zombie number. He doesn't have the capacity to grow a beard like this. How dare you? What, was it because of the pizza thing? Oh, Mike. No, Mike doesn't. Okay. Boop-a-doop. 
That's a good. That's a nice relaxing. It is, isn't it? Text noise. Yeah, I like that. I feel like I can listen to that. She I said, could just listen to people texting me all day. She said she just got five matches in a row. <laughs> it makes me wonder why they're still playing against her. Because they're young. They don't know what else to look forward to. <laughs> Robert's wife is playing a card game against... Matching. Uh, a matching game against uh, their kid, their two kids. And he just showed me a picture and they looked miserable. <laughs> and uh, the ta- the caption was, I'm handing them their asses. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just pretty funny because, boy, they didn't look like they were having a good time at all. <laughs> God, Hunter, why you got to be so sad all the time? This deck seems great, and I'm a fan of it. I'm, I'm tempted to take this guy out for another Loxanon, but I don't know. What do you think, man? I think you keep that. I mean, it's a bullet for a bullet, basically, but I still think it's worth it. I think you're worth it. Oh, can we draw stamina? Yes, please. We have two. I don't even know what it, what all does that thing do. Obviously, it flies. Uh, that can't be countered. Flying trample or pro white, pro blue. That's terrible. It's just flying. It's just a 6-6 six, six flying, tra- flying trampler. Yeah, that's it. I'd rather play the bat. Okay, well, you're welcome to do so. <laughs> um, I'm, You know, the thing is, we can do both. Sure. They cost. They have different costs, so. On curve. Can I get my Desk Legions out one time? Mm-mm. Oh. Mm-mm. I couldn't even cast it. I was going to jokingly cast it, but I couldn't even do it. I'm already starting to take the Rob. He has such a winning personality. How is the weather out there, by the way? Earlier today, it was it's terrible. There's tornado warnings in Land Lakes. <clears throat> it just looks gloomy. Yeah, it's very, very gloomy. Oh, look what they got. You guys are like playing from one deck. That's what it is. It, it feels like we are playing from one deck. I agree with it's you. It's like that game you play with your friends when you got one commander deck. And then you just each That's draw the worst. It. Is it? Yeah, I don't like that. Because like it's certain like like everyone gets like a... Like, no one... I don't know how to explain it. It sounds like it. I don't like you. <laughs> I'm just going to take two here. What are you going to do? You're going to sack this guy and make me take four? You can be a winner with the game. Whoa, he's... Robert bought me some star crunches, and now he's now he's taking it back, and now he's opening it with his teeth romantically. <laughs> All right, you got a forest. Good for you. I guess we're not going to living end until we get a Nihil spell bomb. How is it? Crunchy. Tastes like stars. I like that. Mm-hmm. You can be a winner with the game of life. And from your numbers, I like it. Boom, boom, down. Don't do it. Don't do it. You want to trade with both these nope. guys? Mm-mm. Why? Because then he knows it's there. You can regrow it, but he knows. You know what I mean? He knows. Mm-hmm. What's a tornado warning even? Like, what even is that, dude? This is probably the first Star Crunch I've had in, like, over five years. Easy. I think it's probably been, like, ten for me. I don't think I've had a Star Crunch since I was a child. I felt the same way when I went to the dentist last year. The room got quiet. Wait, what does that mean? I don't know. There's only two of us in the room. Like, if one of us isn't talking... No, it was Hunter. Hunter didn't say anything. I see. Hmm. He never does. He's real chatty sometimes, mm. and sometimes he's just not. You know what I mean? What's a winter storm? What's a tornado? What are these things? Is a winter storm just basically a storm in the winter? Maybe. Or snow. Does that mean snow? You're a snow. You're a John Snow. Winter has passed. You know nothing. Yeah. I know nothing. Really? You don't know anything? Mm-mm. Oh, come on. Really? With that? I'm serious. No, I'm talking about this Corsair crew fix, brah. So we have next turn. five mana, but we got double double red, double green card, double green card, six mana card. That's cool. A licky boom boom down. That's how Informer goes. It's a song by Snow. In case you guys didn't know, John Snow. I don't know. God, look at all this cycling they're doing. It means snow. Snow. It means snow. Hmm. It means spring is coming. <clears throat> Isn't today the first day of spring, too? It is. So the first day of spring, we get tornado and winter <laughs> winter storm warnings. That's cool. 
Welcome, Spring. How does he return the gladiator to his hand? Uh, during your upkeep, you can pay two and discard a card. Mm. But only during your upkeep. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Ha-ha. Look at this just battle of the, of the morves. God, this guy's really getting aggressive with this, with this ghoul. Yeah, you're trading for a zealot. It's not bad. I mean, I just it's getting to a point where like you have to do something. We have to get these guys off the board, otherwise you're just going to use them all. Yeah, I was going to say you took two damage off the board too. Stamina. I'm waiting, man. It'll blow him out so bad. <laughs> We just flip It'll a chroma. It'll be so bad. <laughs> no! Wrong black card. I think we're just cycling that guy. I think you have uh, better things to draw into. And if we hit a green land, we're in real good shape. We can also just get it back and cycle again. Actually, that's pretty good. Now we can just have ghoul wars. <laughs> ghoul wars. You know, like you do. Really? You're gonna? Oh, you're just gonna cycle that guy? So you haven't pulled a Jace yet, huh? No. That's so bad. Yeah, it is. How many drafts have you done? You think? Uh, this is number like ten. Jeez. So thirty packs, almost a box. Um, wow. No, more than a box. Twenty-four packs. Well, no, there's three. How many? How many? How many packs are in a 24. box? Twenty-four. It's a monster. It's a master set. Oh yeah, okay. <clears throat> I was thinking of a regular standard mm -hmm. size booster box, eh? I assume this is a Ruthless Ripper. How is he at 12? Oh, I guess the bat, too, every turn in the two it came in. Yeah, plus these both mm. of these guys cost them two. I'm just going to take it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you bought. I'm going to take four. Like 17. I got five cards in hand, though. Like, if we just had another green source, this game would be over, I think. We could just be churning through our lands. I'm going to play a treasure keeper. Oh, and he sacks it to the ghoul. That's nice. That is nice. <laughs> I'm going to murder your ghoul. Oh, another one? God damn. <clears throat> I said god damn. That's a lot of guys. Oh, well, look at that. We did it. Mm -hmm. Can we just kill him with this bat, though? Like, I feel like this bat could just do the job. I guess we play Baleoth and I'll get back our two guys. This card is very good. What if we're just not even playing the living endgame and we just outvalue them because they cycled all of their creatures to get them in the graveyard to play you around know living got, end? Like, two more Tuskers, probably. Well, we know he has two at least. Yeah. It's funny that like in Vintage Masters, Crows and Tusker was a common, and now in, in this set it's uncommon. Oh, they just switch the, the rarities so frequently. <clears throat> Murder that guy. Nice try. <laughs> Joke's on you. I honestly wonder why he murdered that. I feel like the ghoul is probably the better murder target. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> and even if he was worried about you attacking with it, he could have thrown the keeper in front of it and just sacrificed the keeper and, and bought himself at least another turn. Okay, so this is definitely a a ruthless ripper. Is that the same one? No, this is the new one. Mm -hmm. But like, he can't flip any other morbs. Yep, that guy's dead. Now they're both four fours. Is this what we're gonna do? No. You gonna save this guy? You gonna sacrifice treasure keeper? Sure. Oh, an Anox Survivalist. Nah, that's that's a pretty decent hit for us. Except it's shiny. I think we just let this guy die. <laughs> he called me a wildling. <laughs> <laughs> this mirror match, man. Survivalist, Corsair, Phyrexian Ghoul. Like, come on. <clears throat> I, too, will play a Corsair of Cruffix. Oh, that was pretty good, That's though. That's pretty decent. Give me a forest on top as well. Thank you. 
Oh boy, look what it is. He's he's kind of got the better end of that though. I think you're right. Could just epic confrontation and then cycle this guy. What if we play Living Death, Regrowth, and then Living Death again? Does that do anything? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Not at all. We also need, like, how much mana for that? Like a million? Twelve? We're at seven. Only five more lands and we're good to go. One of those Staminas would be sweet. You that were... just wins the game. Like, we're going to hit one and we're going to win. That's how we're going to win. Or we're just going to lose and not hit one at all. That actually does win the game for us, yeah. actually. <clears throat> I want to draw this though because the next card, the next card to land, it's bad. It's bad. I kind of want an epic confrontation, something. <laughs> you just want to pull the trigger? You could do it twice. Oh well, not this turn, I guess. What? Oh no. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying though. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so scary though. Like, they also have to have a black card in hand, which I don't think they do. No gamble, no future. <clears throat> it was a survivalist, number two. All right. Hey, that worked out, actually. You would have killed your courser. You're right, actually. That's actually fantastic. Holy smokes. That was a good play. <laughs> Hi, this question is for Robert. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead. Uh, yes, Lafof, you may go ahead. Present. What is your greatest fear, Robert? Be honest. Um. <clears throat> Cultivate on time. Honesty stream. <laughs> so, what do they draw? What was on top? Uh, forest. They had basic forest. Oh, wow. That's great. And they just played it. So now they have Cultivate on top. Probably spiders, but only the only the large ones and the ones that are hairy. You don't like tarantulas? No, they move too fast for their own good. Tarantulas are actually not scary to me, but regular spiders are. Like big spiders? Yeah. Tarantulas less so because... Like the brown recluses are the ones that are really scary. Okay, well, yeah, those are deadly though. So, you know, makes sense. <laughs> Oh, Black Widows really scare me. Uh, uh, you know, I just I wanted to mention that they... I don't feel good about Black Widow spiders. I don't know if you guys have seen those. That was pretty good. Probably. Oh, look, Spider9179 is not is not thrilled with your response. <laughs> spider with an eye. It's spider, they're spiders with an eye. I'm a spider with an eye. You have two eyes. It's creepy. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Like, if we don't block here, we just die. This guy's actually at, at critical Call mass here. Call his bluff. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Call his bluff. No, no, I don't think we're going to do that. I would block favorably to Living Death next turn, and you can cycle your horror. So if you have a way to throw away your Courser, I'd throw away the Courser. <gasps> Wait a minute. Dude, they just win if we Living Death. Like, they have a million dudes. Mm, no, she doesn't have haste, does she? No. Plus, they get to untap first, so they get to attack first. Mm. And they get to sack all of their guys. How's that feel? What? How's what feel? Being right. Uh, it's good. It's right. good. Awesome. Love it. What do you love? It. Interesting. Okay, see, that guy scares me. What is that? It's the Wild Heart Invoker. It's like a 4-3. They have no cards in hand, though, so... We're dead. How are, how are we dead? This is over. This looks actually a really similar to last game, but the only difference is you're on the losing end. Um, yeah, but not really. A little bit. Mm, no. <laughs> Biggest regret. Oh, no joke answers. This is an honesty stream. I don't know what I can say because this is a uh, on Twitch, right? You have like I can't say naughty bad things. Like naughty was the wrong word. Bad. bad. Good lord, what did you do, man? <laughs> My biggest no, regret that's... was getting married <laughs> the first time. <laughs> oh God, I was like, wow, what a weird thing to say. <clears throat> Yeah, we also have to kill this guy because, boy, is he just bad news for everybody involved. No, Frank smells great. 
Thank you. <laughs> oh, they trade if we do that, though, so we got to actually use Epic Confrontation. Sure. So that's actually better for us because now... Wow, that's actually great for us because now we can actually attack with this guy and not have to feel bad about our life choices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're just dead on the way back. Yeah, that's why we're not doing that. How big is it right now? It? Courser? Yeah. Three, six. Out of block. I would have attacked with the Courser. But then they just block with a one, one. Like, I'd rather be getting the damage. Oh, uh, true, 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 true. You're right. Like, next turn we're fine because we have Ambassador and we know they're just drawing Cultivate, so. Did you leave the first wife in a shallow grave? Or, I mean, what's there to regret? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is getting dark, dude. I'm going to clip it so that um, so that it says your answer is getting married. Before you say, oh, my first wife. God, another invoker? Get out of here with that dude. I bet they don't even play Cultivate now. Their deck seems like a better version of our deck just without living death. I, I heard you. Living death. I heard you. <laughs> you don't have to keep repeating the same thing. That's the first time I've said that. No, you totally said it earlier. That their deck is better? I didn't say that. I oh. just said that this game... Oh, you said this position. is like the last game, but only they look better. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah. We, we get it, man. I don't know why you have to be like this. In the kitchen with the onions and touching her spaghetti. <laughs> Somebody touch my spaghetti! <laughs> oh my god, why are you the way that you are? Is there a friend out there you wish you were nicer to? No? What, uh, <laughs> no? no? How, how do you feel? You alright? Are you doing good? Me? Yeah. This? Is this... You feel alright? Maybe uh, I'm just not seeing it. Maybe. Is that... What are you saying right now? I don't know. Should I have been nicer to you? you gotta be drunk right now, right? Tacos. Somebody touch my spaghetti. It always feels like somebody's touching my spaghetti. And I got no privacy. Oh. <laughs> Actually, probably should have blocked this morph. I forgot they couldn't flip it, so... That was pretty bad. But there's a lot going on, so. If you could apologize to and be forgiven by one person, who would it be and why? <laughs> why do you keep saying no jokes like I'm joking? Because I want to make sure you're not joking. Oh, you got to take it yeah, seriously, man. That matters. God, why are you like this? If you could see, if you could apologize to and be forgiven by one person. I don't know. I don't. Oh, look what we just hit. Look what we just hit. Oh, play the climber. I was just going to get my... Oh, yeah, you can rip it now, can't you? Oh, and a swamp? Doing it. Attack first. Did we just win? Boy, it feels like it, doesn't it? <laughs> We're right on that. We're right on... We needed that swamp, too, didn't we? We did. Because it costs five for living death, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's awesome. That's so sick. Oh, man. I feel like our deck is a better version of their <laughs> deck. It's, a, it's the weirdest thing. Uh, wow, I could have sworn you said the opposite. I mean, they get these four guys back, but I don't think we actually care. Because we're getting, like, a lot better guy. Oh, we're getting this. Wait, they don't get anyone back. They sacrifice these guys in oh, response. Oh, because sure, sure. Yeah. And the Bailoff Null gets these two back for us. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty savage, actually. Yep. There are five as well. That's pretty good. Ooh, it was a Ripper. Yeah. You called it. I mean, it was the only thing it could have been. They didn't flip it. They were attacking uh, correctly for it to be that. Yeah, I'll get these two creatures back. 
Who are you most envious? My dad. I would. I could say my dad. So you got a climber and you got a land in hand. Probably my dad. What is this you're doing? What were they gonna do? Were they gonna discard that to get undead gladiator back and then they just realized? Oh wow, invoker on top. That's pretty good. They can go climber. It into doesn't matter. Invoker. We win next turn. Oh yeah, because this is a chroma. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hot chroma. Oh no. Oh wait, they go to six. Yeah, now they just play Climber and Invoker and we have a Chroma. <clears throat> I mean, I would wait it to draw so that you can see if there's a land on top, but uh, no land on top. A Chroma wins the game. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I've only seen the person behind the fellow behind you and Mike isn't around. Could they be the same person? Well, you never know. We're just going to do all the good blocks here. We're going to block you, block you, block you. You should touch ghouls. Just touch ghouls. I'm not touching ghouls. Touch the, touch the ghouls. The ghouls aren't touching. <laughs> like if they want to sack like four. Oh, it doesn't even matter. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is Robert, in hey. case you guys weren't sure. And uh, if you guys have liked the content, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you guys next time.